I wanted to do a quick run through of the storage and inventory system we have on this wall of my garage. It's super rudimentary, but it helps a lot because as a general contractor, there's dozens, maybe hundreds of little parts and pieces that we have extra at the end of the job or we need constantly because they're not stocked at local suppliers. So we need to have them in a system that we can organize. So here's basically what it is. Two by four shelf with OSB on top. We painted it black because I'm a color geek and some totes that I purchased at the home center. These smaller ones are 17 gallons. They're $7.97. These larger ones are 27 gallons and they are $8.97. Uh, $3 roughly for a two by four, we'll say, and then $19 worth of OSP gets you the whole thing. So it's roughly $200 for an eight foot section. I have three of them and labeling them is very important because before we labeled them, whenever we would take something out, we would put it back in a different section, and that costed a lot of wasted energy when one of my employees would come in, he didn't know where I would put things, or I didn't know where he put things, and that was all money out. So labeling things means we're going to the same spot every time, we know where that is, and we're not looking as much. It just takes the indecision out of it. For the labels, we tried to do some visual controls, so we have a picture of a spray, uh, spray paint can on the spray paint box. And I don't know how much that helps. It helps probably a little, but does it justify the time? Maybe not. Um, another way you could make it better would be to go with clear totes. I have found some of them aren't as durable, so that's why I didn't do a clear one in this case. But it probably would speed things up substantially because Obviously, if you're looking at a clear tote full of drywall uh, tools, you can see that. Or if you're looking at a, you know, a tote full of drop cloths, it's pretty obvious what's in there. So, give you an idea of the type of things I keep. Uh, drywall tape, sandpaper, filter bags, blades, cleaning tools, fuel, stain and finishing, caulking. Obviously, this whole caulking glue thing is just garbage now because it's so cold in here. But, uh, spray paint, paint tools. So those are some of the things we have that we keep, and uh, it really helps out a lot uh, having a spot for every little thing. 